everyone. It's me. I'm back again. It's Warren here. Um, thanks very much to come for coming to come for coming to watch my latest video. Um, today, the video I'm putting on for you is um, ep episode three of England's most successful football team. And what we'll be doing today is we're going to be looking at teams 109 to 100 so hold on to your hats strap yourselves in because i think it's going to be a bit of a ride anyway so um before i get started though i um i just felt i have to say something um because um Day was it? Yeah, two days ago. Um, very sadly, um, one of my heroes died, um, Diego Maradona, and um, I don't, I couldn't make this video um, without um, paying tribute to the man. Um, I loved his football. Um, I loved everything about the man. He's just an absolute genius in my book. Um, I've never seen any player like him before or since. I did have the great pleasure and the great luck to actually see him play in the flesh um, when he played at Wembley Stadium many years ago in um, a rest of the world team against the English Football League team, which was a great, great honour for me. Anyway, so I hope that um everyone remembers him fondly because i do um and i'd just like to pass on my deepest condolences and my deepest condolences and um best wishes to all these friends and family and colleagues and to the people of argentina who i know are, are very sad at the moment about this news Anyway, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the, today's first club is Yeovil Town. Um, now, an interesting fact about Yeovil Town is that their pitch has got an eight foot slope, which re runs from one touchline to the other. Um, Another thing about Yeovil Town is um, that I that Yeovil Town is one of the most successful non-league, um, like one of the most successful um, records uh, in the FA Cup of any non-league side. And I saw them play uh, Tunbridge Angels at Tunbridge's Ground called Longmead a few years ago. Um, in a game where they raced to an early 2-0 lead and then battened down the hatches, uh, parked the bus, whatever you want to call it, and um, they managed to hold out to secure a 2-0 win to progress to the first round proper. Um, and, and unfortunately, that game was marred by some crowd trouble um, at Tunbridge's ground in the part of the ground where the Oval fans were gathered um so yeah but let's not dwell on that it's, um it's quite sad really anyway um the club got promoted to the football league after winning the conference in 2002-3 they won the tier 4 title in 2004-5 and then won the tier 3 playoff final to win promotion in tier 2 in 2012-13 season after finishing fourth in tier three that season. Sadly, however, they were relegated out of the Football League following the 2018 season. They are one of them, and like I said earlier, they, they do have the um, distinction of being one of the most successful teams in long league football um, in the FA Cup. Um, they have defeated major Football League opposition um most famously they beat Sunderland in the fourth round in 1949 
before going on to play in front of more than 81,000 people away at Manchester United in the fifth round. So that's Yeovil Town. Okay, so the next club today is Hereford United. Now, Hereford United's um, biggest claim to fame is that in 1972, whilst there's a football, non league football club, they knocked out um, Newcastle United, who were then in the first division, which was tier one of the English football pyramid system, out of the FA Cup. And later that year, where they were elected to into the Football League's Tier 4. In 1972-73 season, they finished second in Tier 4 and were promoted, where they later won the Tier 3 title in 75-76, but unfortunately were relegated back to Tier 3 in the following season. They managed to stay in Tier 4 from then on for uh, a total of 19 years, before they were relegated out of the Football League in 1997. They were then promoted back to the Football League in 2006 and then were promoted to Tier 3 after finishing third in Tier 4 in 2007-2008 season and then were relegated out of the Football League again in 2012 and then unfortunately two years later um, they were wound up. So that sadly a sad end to the tale, really. Um, yeah, great story, especially about their FA Cup exploits. Um, but yeah, that's Hereford United. Okay, so Glossop North End um, were elected to the second division of the Football League in 1898 to 1899 season. And they finished um, runners up in tier two and then won and one promotion to tier one. They then changed their name to just simply Glossop in order to um, avoid confusion with Preston North End. Um, and however though, they only spent one season in tier one and in that season, they only win managed to win four matches all of which were at home. In 1908-1909 season, they reached the FA Cup quarter-final, where they were lost after a replay to the eventual runners-up Bristol City. In 1913-1914 season, they had to seek re-election to the Football League. However, because of the outbreak of World War I, the league closed down, and at the end of the war, they failed to regain um, election to the league. Glossop, by the way, is the smallest town whose team have played in the English top flight. So that's Glossop. Okay, so the next team on the list is Wickham Wanderers, who finished. Um, in 106th place um, with 70 points. Now Wickham won promotion to the Football League in 1992-93 season. So they're relatively new addition to the Football League family. Then in 1994, they won the Tier 4 playoffs to win promotion to Tier 3. And then they spent a decade in the third tier and reached the FA Cup semi-finals in 2001 and then gained promotion to Tier 3 in the 2008-2009. This was the first of four successive seasons of promotions and relegations between the uh, Tier 3 and Tier 4, which was followed by a decline that saw the club only avoid relegation um, into non-league football on the basis of goal difference in 2014. The club secured promotion out of League Two, sorry, out of League Two, which is obviously Tier Four, in 2017-18. And then they went on to secure promotion to the Championship 
for the fir for the first time in the cup's history with victory in the 2020 playoff final this happened after they the the um tier 3 league was finished before the end of the season due to the impact of the covid-19 uh, pandemic and a the points per game um, system was used to determine the final league standings. So that is Wickham Wanderers. Okay, so the next team on the list to finish in 105th place with 74 points was Exeter City. Now, Exeter City um, were invited to help create the Football League third division in 1920. They were, and then um, in, and once moving into the Football League, they were assigned to the third division South the next year. They were runners up in tier three, and then in 1932-33, and they then became the founder members of the fourth division, um, Tier four in 1958. They were promoted to tier three in 1963 64 after finishing fourth, only to be relegated after two seasons. They were promoted again out of tier four at the end of the 76 77 season after as finishing as runners up and managed to stay in tier three for seven seasons before being relegated in 1964, sorry, in 1984. Exeter won their first league title in the 1989-90 season, which was the tier four title. And then they lost their football league status at the end of the 2002-2003 season. They then won promotion back into the Football League um, in 2008. And then they won promotion again out of Tier 4 in 2008 and 9 after finishing as runners-up. And then Exeter survived for three seasons in Tier 3 and then retir returned to Tier 4 in 2012. And finished and managed to finish fourth in the 2017-18 season, and they uh, and they have lost. They have also lost in the playoff finals in 2017, and sorry, two yeah, 2017, 2018, and 2020. So that is the story of Exeter City. Okay, so the next team on the list to, for today's video is Southport, who finished in equal 104th place with 75 points. Southport held membership of the Football League from 1921 when they were invited to become a founding member of the newly formed Football League 3rd Division North up until 1978. In 1931, South club, Southport became the first club from the third division north to reach the sixth round quarterfinals of the FA Cup um, when they lost. But however, unfortunately, they lost 9-1 to Everton on this occasion, on that occasion, I should say. And then from the start of the 1957-58 season, they moved into the newly formed fourth division after the third tier of the English Football League was reorganised into two um, leagues, into the third division and the fourth division. So what happened was the teams that finished in the top half of the third division north and the third division south became the third division. And the teams that finished in the bottom half of the third division north and the third division south became the fourth division. Southport finished fourth twice in 1924-25 season and the 1938-39 season in tier three. 
and then the club achieved its first promotion in the 1966-67 season when they finished as runners-up in the fourth tier behind Stockport County. And during this time, they were managed by um, none other than Billy Bingham, who went on to manage the Northern Ireland national team. Um, they were relegated back to the fourth tier of English football in 1970, but won a promotion again in 1973 when they finished as uh, tier four champions, which was their major honour as a football league club. They were relegated back to tier four, however, the following season. And then, and then from then on, they started to decline, unfortunately, and it ended up by them being voted out of the Football League through the re-election process. Following, and this happened following three successive second to bottom finishes, and they were relegated and they were replaced by Wigan Athletic, and were the last team, and they they hold the dubious honour of being the last team to be relegated from the Football League using this re-election process. Um, and after this, automatic relegation from the fourth tier, fourth division, was introduced in the 1986-87 season, and they have been in non-league football ever since. The club's main honour is winning the 72-73 Football League Fourth Division Championship, as I mentioned earlier. So that's the story of the Southport FC. Quite an interesting one, I think you'll agree. So, okay, so the next team um, is Newport County, who share 104th place with the team we spoke about previously, which was at uh, Southport um, and as with Southport they also got 75 points. Newport County were invited to become founder members of the Football League third division in 1920 and but they then failed their re-election process in 1931 but were re-elected back into the Football League the next year and they went on to be crowned third division South champions in the 1938-39 season. World War II, the outbreak of World War II meant that they then had to wait until the 1946-47 season to take their place in the second division, although they were, as they they were relegated, um, however, they were relegated at the end of that campaign. In the 1979-80 season, they won promotion out of the fourth division and also won the Welsh Cup for the first time. And they reached the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup. And they also reached the quarterfinals of the UEFA Cup Winners Cup the very next year. And in, in the 1982-83 season, they finished fourth in Tier 3, but didn't win promotion. Um, in the 1980s, they suffered a lot of financial difficulties and, and also suffered a double relegation, um, which ended up costing them their Football League status in 1988 unfortunately um, and the club then went out of business in February 1989. However they reformed and they returned to the Football League in 2013 so there's a nice end to that story with the club um, rising out of the ashes so to speak and being able to come back into the Football League so that's great. Okay, so the next team on on the list is a team by the name of Nelson. Um, Nelson finished 102nd on my list 
uh, won 80 points. Nelson were a founding member of the Third Division North of the Football League in 1921. And they were Division Three North champions in the 1922-23 season and were promoted to Division Two. However, they were relegated straight back down to the Third, third Division North after just a single season in Tier Two, the Second Division. In 1924-25, Nelson finished second in Tier Three, were, but were not promoted that season because only the champions from Tier Three leagues, Third Division North and Third Division South, were promoted because only two teams were relegated from the second tier of English football. So one team got promoted from the third division north and one team got devote, uh, promoted from the um, third division south. So a bit of a bit of a harsh one, but still, there you go. That was the rules at the time. So I guess the teams had to get on with it. Not my cup of tea, though, I have to say, but there you go. Um, anyway, moving on. In 1931, the club lost their football league status and they folded in 1936. They were reformed after um, the end of World War II and have played in Northern League football ever since. So that's um, the story of Nelson Football Club. So the next team on the list is Halifax Town. Now, um, I've got an interesting story about Halifax Town. Um, basically, what happened with my experience of Halifax Town is I never, ever went to their ground, but um, I saw them come to Maidstone on a bitterly cold, cold no, Maidstone, it was actually Dartford, but they were playing Maidstone United in the fourth division. Um, one cold, bitterly cold November evening. Um, at Watling Street in Dartford and all of their supporters, all the fellas in the away end of uh, Halifax were all standing there bare chested. Not one of them had a shirt on and it was absolutely freezing. I think, in fact, I'm thinking it was at one point it even started snowing. So yeah, that's Halifax for you. Um, so there you go. Yeah, that was quite a funny incident. I remember them all standing there, jumping up and down and singing. And there weren't even that many of them, to be quite honest. But um, they seemed to be enjoying themselves and um, jumping up and down, waving their shirts above their heads. But they're all, yeah, all bare chested. But there you go. Anyway, so Halifax Town, they finished 101st in my list and managed to accumulate 100 points. Um, and Halifax Town played in the Football League from 1921 to 1993, and then again from 1998 to 2002. The club, unfortunately, was dissolved in 2008, but it re reformed that July under the name of FC Halifax Town. In the 1934-35 season, the club finished as runners-up in Tier 3. Um, and then in 1970-71, they finished third in Tier 3 and also fourth in Tier 3 in 1926-27. But never won promotion in any of these seasons because of the way that promotion and relegation work between Tier 2 and Tier 3 which I've already talked about um, earlier today. In 1968-69, they finished as runners-up in Tier 4 and won promotion to Tier 3. Yeah, so that is um, the story of Halifax Town. Um, so there you go. So... Bam, bam, bam. Finally, um, this is the last team of the day. And this team, Torquay United, finished in 100th place. 
and accumulated 106 points. Now, Torquay United um, were admitted to the Football League in 1927 and they remained in the third division South Tier 3 for the next 31 years where they managed to finish as runners-up in 1956-57 season and then they followed that up in 1967-68 season um, with a fourth place finish in Tier 3. The club also achieved three third place finishes in Tier 4 in the 1959-60 season when they were promoted but were relegated after only two seasons in Tier 3. In 1965-1966, this also promote, uh, ended up in the promotion to Tier 3, but they were relegated six years later. And then finally, in the 2003-2004 season, they achieved automatic promotion, but only lasted one season in Tier 3 on this occasion. Anyway, so in 1989, Torquay United were losing finalists in the EFL Trophy final to Bolton Wanderers. Then in 1990 to 91, Torquay United won promotion to Tier 3 after winning the playoffs. Um, after, being, after being losing finalists three years earlier, but then they were relegated in 1992. They survived re-election votes after last place finishes in the fourth and tier four in 1985 and 1986, and then went on to lose their league status on two separate occasions. First of this, these was in 2007, and the second one seven years later in 2014, both after a last place finish. So there we go. That's the end of um, the story of Torquay United. And all it leaves me, all it leaves me to say is once again, as I said at the beginning of my video is I'd like to share and pass on my condolences to all the family and friends and colleagues of the late, great Diego Maradona, who is a great hero of mine. Anyway, so that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Thanks a lot for watching and don't forget, um, press the like button pass it around to friends, family and colleagues and anyone that you um, feel would like it. And if you haven't seen any of my videos before, please subscribe and then it will make sure that you don't miss out on any other videos that I submit. Anyway, thanks a lot. Have a great rest of the day. And until I see, speak to you again next week, have a great week. Take care. Bye.